Dr. Sajid here again. Um, this time we're going to be talking about something different. Um, parents will often ask me why is a test necessary or why are these tests necessary? And uh, therefore I'm going to explain to you the uh, various tests that are needed, the common ones and why are they important and relevant. So um, a good doctor will be able to determine when a test is likely to be helpful and that is only and only then that he will order a test. Um, so he will not order tests unnecessarily but will also not be very stingy if the information that he can get with these tests uh, would be very very helpful and I'll give you some examples. So for example if your child has a skin rash and uh, the doctor talks to you, finds out the age of the child, how it started, where it is, the nature of the rash, and how has it spread, and if there are any other um, problems associated with it, he will probably come to a pretty good um, diagnosis after um, interviewing you and also taking a look at the child. Uh, and he, of course, in this situation, may not want to run any tests unless um, um, they're absolutely necessary and give you some medicines and the child will be better. On the other hand, the same rash, if it is um, uh, more of a um, bleeding spots on the body or a, a rash that is also accompanied by, for example, red eyes and cough and cold, uh, as well as fever, and the child is very poorly then the diagnosis, although can be made, but sometimes require, uh, requires tests. And it is then that, for example, the commonest test that we do in, in children is the complete blood count will be uh, requested. The complete blood count tells you a number of, um, gives you a number of um, very important pieces of information. One is hemoglobin, which tells you if the child is anemic or not. And the second is the white count, which um, can be uh, altered in viral conditions and bacterial conditions. And therefore, it um, helps in distinguishing between viruses and bacteria uh, fairly often. It also gives us some information about the type of white cells. And that, again, will tell us between a viral and a bacterial condition. And it also has other um, uh, items such as the uh, platelet count, which tells us whether the um, child has any problem of possible uh, bleeding, etc., or whether this is a sign of infection. So a CBC is often requested. And so when the doctor feels it is necessary, then you should go along with it. Um, similarly, uh, another very routinely test done is uh, urine, examination of the urine and oftentimes uh, culture. And that uh, is something that gives us very good information and that uh, will tell us whether there is any possibility of an infection in, in the urine and uh, whether the child therefore will require um, antibiotics. And as I have said in the last video, uh, the infection may be very high up in the kidneys, in which case it can be severe or it can be in the bladder where it is uh, likely to be less uh, serious and more likely to be a virus. Now, other tests that are often requested and uh, that gives us uh, useful information uh, is um, what we call um, the uh, ultrasound, for example, of the abdomen and that sometimes is necessary. It doesn't uh, hurt the child, but it gives us information. Uh, sometimes you also have to have a chest X-ray. So if a child has an ordinary cough, a little cold, low grade fever, and the child is not really very sick, uh, the chest X-ray may not be necessary. But if the child has severe cough, breathing difficulty, and is um, uh, quite uncomfortable and has a fever, a chest x-ray may also give us useful information. Other tests such as um, a spinal tap or a lumbar puncture or um, for example a CT scan or MRI of the brain are done very rarely 
and um, your doctor um, decides this very, very carefully. So an information, if it is very, very useful uh, from a test, uh, only then a test is uh, uh, requested. Uh, and therefore, you should have faith in your doctor and let him decide when a test is necessary. Of course, you can question the doctor, you can ask him whether a test is really necessary because we don't want to uh, run unnecessary tests, we don't want to uh, run too many tests, we don't want to run tests too, in, too frequently, uh, but sometimes a test is the only way of confirming a diagnosis. An example, for example, is the uh, typhoid, which can only be confirmed by a blood culture. So um, you can discuss, but trust your doctor. Sometimes these tests are very, very necessary and you should not hesitate in listening to your doctor. I hope this information has been of some use to you.